I wish I didn't do that. Everything sucks. My life's so hard. Why is life like this? Why is life so unfair to me? If you've asked yourself any of these questions, then keep watching this video. I wanna give you a powerful tool that can help you in gambling addiction recovery and in life in general when dealing with negative emotions. That tool is cognitive restructuring. Cognitive restructuring is a form of therapy that aims to change negative thought patterns and beliefs into more positive ones. It's based on the idea that our thoughts influence our feelings, behaviors, and actions. By changing the way we think, we can change the way that we behave. A lot of times our negative emotions are often quite unrealistic. Being able to take a step back and find positives in the situation often helps us poke holes in the logic of our negative thoughts, which more often than not renders them quite ridiculous. An example of this could be getting rejected from a job and thinking like, oh, I'll never find a job like that again. And then when you take a step back, you realize you just have to go on Google and spend two minutes, three minutes searching to find a similar job. In the context of gambling addiction recovery, Cognitive restructuring can be particularly helpful. It can help individuals identify and challenge their negative thoughts and beliefs about gambling, and it can help them replace them with more positive and healthy ones. This can lead to a reduction in gambling behavior and a greater sense of control. How does cognitive restructuring work? Well, there are several techniques that can be used directly, including self-talk. This involves becoming aware of the negative self-talk that may be contributing to your gambling behavior and replacing it with more positive self-talk. It might sound a little corny, but for example, instead of saying, I have no control over my gambling, you could say, I have the power to make healthy choices and resist the urge to gamble. This is something that's easier said than done, and I've personally been making a huge point to change the language I'm using on a daily basis, as it has actually really given me a sense of ownership and control over my addiction, something that I was desperately seeking, but unable to find when I was gambling. Another technique is called thought stopping. This technique involves interrupting negative thoughts when they arise by saying stop, <laughs> or imagining like a stop sign. This can help individuals gain control over their thoughts and prevent them from spiraling into more negative thinking. Again, it sounds a little bit corny, I know, but I did something similar by writing the word stop every time that I had an urge to gamble. Though by itself it didn't actually stop my gambling at the time, it put into perspective the times the urges would come up and also how many times there would be an urge during the day. Better clarity led me to make better choices in the future. Another option is reframing. This involves looking at a situation from a different perspective and finding a more positive interpretation. Instead of seeing your losses as a failure, reframing it as an opportunity to learn and grow leads you to see them as necessary roadblocks or self-imposed fines that led you to this exact moment in your life. If you live through that lens, everything happens for a reason and you can find a lot more peace in the present moment. Overall, cognitive restructuring is a powerful tool that can help individuals in gambling addiction recovery challenge their negative thoughts as well as their negative beliefs and replace them with much more positive thinking. If you're struggling with a gambling addiction, I still encourage you to consider seeking support through a Gamblers Anonymous meeting or a similar kind of support group meeting. If you're interested in self-improvement content or content related to the reality of gambling, I urge you to go check out some more of my videos and I'll toss a couple up on the screen right here. As always, let's keep getting better together one day at a time.